If I would have taken this my first project, yeah. I don't think I'll be here where I am. I'll be under first project and be done with the first project. Let me show you where the house is. Right now we are here at the Prospect Street, right in front square. Uh, the house is the house all the way in the back. Let me show you. This is Joel and Bistong, Street Club Crew at Keller Williams, and uh, today I am standing here with my friend Sid Gallot. Um, Sid is many things, uh, but first of all, he is a very successful real estate investor. He has been doing this for over 10 years now. Um, so how many properties have you flipped today? Only over 200. Only over 200. So, um, we were talking about uh, about you know what's going on in his life recently when I found out that he's working on an interesting project. So interesting and can be good and interesting can be bad. Uh, oftentimes when a real estate investor says that it's an interesting project, it usually means that there are challenges involved. Uh, so uh, usually unanticipated risk that has come up. So we thought that it would be um, it would be nice to document this process. Uh, a lot of people have always watched HGTV and People have this, uh, you know, um, stereotypical assumption that flips are very easy. You know, you do some paint, you switch up the carpet. Uh, but a lot of things that are behind the scenes in the flip uh, are often things that you would never think about uh, when you when you look at and you acquire the project. So here I have it. Uh, we'll start with you telling us how did you first come to buy this property. Over the period of years, I have developed a lot of good relationships. We have this kind of rep on the market that if you go to Treetop Realty Group, if you go to Treetop Investment, if you talk to Sid, he says, yes, he's going to buy it or he's going to do something. He follow up on his word. You know, contracts right. come later on. Yeah. So this was one of those kind of deals that one of my colleagues, with an investor friend of mine, um, he had it under agreement. And the deal he had with the, with the seller was he has to close in 30 days, all cash. No contingency, nothing. Right. Five and days, as a sale. As a, as a sale, okay. you know. And five days under the deal, he found something very, very lucrative uh, where he wanted to invest his money in. But he has this one. Right. So he had to pick this or that? He has to pick this or that. Right. But this was so good, he wanted to do it, but he can't do it. That's when he called me. He just called me, hey, can you come down over here today? And yeah. I got to make a decision right because the clock is ticking. It's already 20. 50 to close. I came, uh, something like this, I come right away, you know. I, I dropped yeah, my little Cambridge. Yeah, Cambridge, I came, yeah. I looked at it over here, and um, I said, uh, right then and there, like two hours, I went back, I did my comp, I said, we'll do the deal. And that's okay. it, you know. Okay, now we're here talking about, you know, the unanticipated challenges that have come up, you know, what are some of the things that have come up? This property is very, very unique and challenging in a way is because as you can see, we are the third house from the main uh, uh, road over there, the Prospect Street. And there is no access to this house. To do a gut renovation over here where you can't have any access, you can't put dumpster, you can't have material offloading, unloading, do everything by hand with people yeah. going quick and, and no parking on Prospect Street. Yeah. Here, just the access of this project, that, that was the biggest challenge actually. Right. First of all, the narrow access, narrow not access. being able to... We like, can't do anything, you know, we right. can't bring any machines or anything. You all you have to do everything manually, you know, like yeah. we do in back in our country, you know, all by hand. You know? <laughs> so, uh, okay. and, and, and you, you discover unique things, you know, I mean, we had a we had a pipe bust over here, and we okay. call the DPW pipe came, bust in the middle of winter. In the middle of the winter, outside, you know, and the, and and the water was leaking. We called DPW. They typically come and shut off. Okay. The guy that came came, they couldn't find a shut off. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. So he kept looking everywhere. He said, oh, we're gonna come with our team. Why is that? So is that because the property is very old? So like the infrastructure is kind right. of so all that, over the place. Right. That, so that's what we figure. That's what we figure out later on. When they came next day with their team, they figure out there's no stop wall over here for this property because it's the third property behind. Back in the days, the stop wall is on the main street and okay. all the pipeline is connected house by house, you know, so there yeah. is nothing. So yeah. they have to stop from the front and we have to give notice to these first two buildings. And and that's how, the yeah, they shut, shut off and that's okay. how we did it. So they must be very happy about it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, th that's what it is, you know, the, you, 
come across so many obstacles one by one, and then you have to hire a company immediately, emergency basis. They come in, they install the line, and we install a stopper right here. So these are the things which come, you know, unexpected, yeah. which you never. But you can about. never know because it's never. like it's underground. So you, when you buy the property, you would, you would never imagine that there would be a valve that runs through two of your neighbors. Right. Lives, right, right. But this used to happen. So hey, you learn new things. You know, yeah, like, okay. every day you learn new things. Right? Yeah. Um, okay. So yeah, I mean these are the the main challenges which we faced okay. uh, in this project. Talk to so far. Yeah, talk to you know okay. access access was the main thing that created an issue like this. Uh, we had to we always put a pot uh, party over here for our workers. Uh, same thing, you know the the party guy delivered over there, so we have to carry all the way over here. You know, carry a portable yeah. toilet yeah. to and, the side and, of the building. Yeah, so. Um, and then lumber guy came, he doesn't have, he came with a big truck. First of all, we don't get even parking for a small car. Yeah. Now you have a huge trailer over here, yeah. which is just standing over there, and to down, uh, you know, uh, get all the material from there. Big headache, you know. Even my lender said, this is an impossible project, and that's why they didn't lend money to me on this one. Uh, so who do you use to... They, they, lend me, they lend me for acquisition, and they say, all right, I say, hey, I know you, are, you guys are skeptical about I cannot renovate it, yeah. but a two-family in Cambridge is worth something, right? Yeah. They say, yeah, that's true. Yeah. I say, okay, so let me just buy it. I'll pay my own money to fix this thing. Oh, okay. So that's how I got it done, you know? So they lent you the money to acquire the just building, to acquire, but yeah. they didn't want no. to lend you access to no. renovate. No, it because, they, yeah, because they said that this, this thing is impossible. You, you will never be able to renovate it. Yeah, so when I show them it's, it's, it's renovated now, look at that. It's yeah. like, oh, now we're going to give you money for construction. I said, all right. So you got to take those risks and chances yeah. and move forward. Yeah. I think it's good because it's like, it's accumulation of all your years of experience. Right? Yeah. Imagine if you, you had undertaken this project in your first year. I think you'd be sweating, wouldn't you? Like, no. you wouldn't be able no. to sleep. No, I mean, it's not about sweating or sleeping. If I would have taken this my first project, yeah. I don't think I would be here where I am. I'll be under <laughs> first project and be done with the first project. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's done. You, know, you, can't, you can't finish this project, yeah. you know. And, Let's and, do a little tour of yeah. the place. Thank you so much thank for you your so time much. and Thanks for sharing, sharing all this that Anytime. you know. Um, so stay tuned for the end of uh, the finished product of this house and uh, there will be a nice walk to Look out. Thank you.